Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program with Durka13. I, of course, am Durka13. Let's see, in the last video we designed a moon satellite and we were going to launch it to the moon. Um, I put it in a polar orbit to complete a contract to do a low resolution scan of the moon. In the process, we're also going to hit the fly by the moon, just free money pretty much. And in between videos, I picked up uh, conduct an orbital survey of the moon and. Um, Actually, same thing, I didn't realize that. Just uh, different requirements here. We're not going to hit that with the satellite, but when we do our manned moon flyby, we will get these, and it will be fantastic. Um, I took a little time, and I actually flew Moon Low Scan 1 up into orbit. Saves us a little time, so you guys don't have to watch the whole uh, orbit process, because it's been done a billion times before. Here she is. Look, there's the moon. We're heading towards you. Actually, do some science up here. A little telescope. Six science. Let's see what that does to our electric charge here. Eh, not too bad. All right. <clears throat> so we are going to go to the moon. We're going to hit M for map. And we have to plan our lunar departure. Where is she? There it is. All right. Um, several other YouTubers who play Kerbal, they always say you want to um, go prograde as you see the moon rising. So, because we upgraded the tracking center, I believe we can add maneuvers now, which you'll see in a second what a maneuver is. So, we're going to be able to see the moon rising. Hang on, we got an orbital telescope. We're going to do. We're going to be able to see the moon rising about here. So we're going to click it, and we're going to say Add Maneuver. And now we have all of our uh, different uh, maneuvers we could do here, or different points and you know, directions we can go. So we are just going to drag the prograde marker out and see what happens if we go strictly prograde. So it looks like we're going to miss the moon right there. But we can drag this little wheel right here and we could turn it until we do get a moon encounter. There we are. So we are gonna enter the moon's sphere of influence. What that means is we are no longer controlled um, by Kerbal's gravity, and we're no longer orbiting around Kerbal, but we will be around the moon. Um, if we didn't do anything, we would s simply just fly right back around the moon and go back to Kerbal. Um, we will see what happens though. Well, actually, this is a satellite, so it's going to orbit regardless. So, ignore that. If we click on the moon here, click it, and you say focus view, we'll be able to see exactly where we're coming in at uh, relative to the moon. So we're coming in there. Let's give it a little more prograde and see what happens. That actually pushes us away. Let's give us some retrograde. Nope, did not like that. Give it, uh, bring it back to where it was. There we go. Let's try some anti-radial. There it is. That's our sweet spot. And we're looking for about 250,000 because that is what the uh, scanner wants, or that's it's the scanner's ideal range. 257, 256, 247. We'll bring it up just a tick. A tiny bit more. 254. We're going to call that close enough. So, as of right now, we are coming in at uh, close to the moon at 254,000 meters. And that's fine and dandy. If we open it up here, we can see our maneuver or the node for the maneuver is in 13 minutes. That's good. We have some extra time. It's going to require about 900 delta V. And we have way more than that so we are going to be good one last thing I'm going to do moves are always more efficient the further out you are so what we're going to do is change our ah, it's not going to do any good is it I'm going to mess around with this a little bit here alright so that brings us actually in a t pretty polar or actually that's uh, pretty good goddamn good right there. I think we're just going to leave it right there. It's going to cost us uh, a little over a thousand delta V now. 
but I like it. That sets us up, sets us up for a uh, really good maneuver. So let's go back to the ship. Our maneuver is locked in. One great thing about MechJeb having smartass, we could say lock to the node, and that'll point us in the uh, the right direction for our maneuver, so we don't have to manually figure that out, which is great. Doop doop do. How is everybody doing? Hope good. Um, let's see. This is what episode six. I'm recording this a little bit in advance, so I hope everyone's enjoying the videos. As of right now, I believe there are two out. So please, if you like them, uh, tell your friends, tell your fellow uh, gamers, get me out there a little bit. This is something I love doing, So, and I've only been doing it a short amount of time. So please, uh, give me some exposure. The more comments and uh, tips I have from everybody, I will make even better videos. All right, so we are on the node now, and I'm going to introduce you guys to a new mod. We're going to move Science Alert over here just to get it out of the way. And we do have solar panels on here, right? Okay, good, yeah. Uh, we're going to open Kerbal Alarm Clock. Kerbal Alarm Clock is a fantastic mod. And one great thing about it is um, we can tell it to quickly move us to certain spots. So we could say uh, add an alarm, or we can warp us to three minutes before the maneuver. We're going to do that. And we're just going to keep getting stopped for science. Which I suppose I'm okay with. Uh, if it happens a couple more times, we will turn off science alert. Ooh, we're in, our, in a terrible spot here. We're barely getting any uh, solar panel-y stuff. Maneuver... Nine minutes, eight minutes, seven minutes. And we got stopped again. That's cool. We are going to just keep pushing along here. Six minutes out. Four minutes out. And we got stopped again. One more time should do it here. There we go. And Kerbal Alarm Clock is automatically going to de-warp us right there three minutes before the maneuver. Mech Jeb is going to replace us on the maneuver node. And we are just going to fast forward ourselves now. Mm -hmm. uh, one minute out. Now, it should give us an estimated burn time. But because I did close the game, um, it doesn't recognize how much power this engine has. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give it a little tap. Just barely anything and then right off so it didn't do very much but it now lets us know our estimated burn time is 38 seconds granted we are going to have to stage about midway through so it'll be a little longer but I think we're going to be okay our node is in 45 seconds a good rule of thumb is to burn um, halfway before your estimated burn time so our estimated burn time is 38 seconds. That means we're going to want to burn about 17 seconds. Um, about 17 seconds until the node. That way, half of our burn is on one side of the node, and the other is on the other side. So positive and minus before and after the node. Yeah, I hope that made sense. I explained it kind of weird. but All right, let's do it. A little late there. I was looking at another monitor. Alright, we're about to stage. Two seconds. There it is. Stage. Light. We're going to hit M, and we're going to look at the map view here. And you can see our orbit is just growing. Growing, 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 growing. We're going to have our finger on X. And we're going to keep bringing it down until this gets to zero. Or we can just eyeball it and see where those line up, but either way will work. We're just going to say when that gets close to zero, we'll cut it. There is a feature in MechJab we will be able to unlock at some point that does this automatically for us. That's pretty close. I'm not going to try any further, otherwise we're going to mess it up. 
So, we are now ready to go to the moon. Actually, we're on our way to the moon, technically. Let's click it again, and focus view, and you can see this is our actual orbit now. 273,000 meters off the surface of the moon. Wonderful. There we are. We're going to hit M, go back to our ship view. And we are just going to fast forward at this point. Ah, science alert. Bye, Kerbin. Bye-bye. We'll just watch it shrink in the, uh, in the distance now and watch the moon grow. We can actually turn off smart ass for the time being, save a little power. We got a milestone here. Broken a speed record of 2,500 meters a second. Awesome. We are just going to tilt. Actually, we're time warping. We can't. Ah, we're getting decent enough sun exposure. If you right click on a solar panel, it'll tell you if it's getting sunlight or not. Um, see, this one probably isn't. Oh, no, it is. Interesting. Uh, this one? Oh, wow. It's all getting sun. All right. Uh, another thing Kerbal Alarm Clock could do, you could say Quick Add and a Sphere of Influence Change. So when we exit Kerbin's Sphere of Influence and we enter the moons, it will tell us, which will happen in actually uh, about an hour and a half game time. Kerbin's getting a lot smaller there. Let's fast forward a little more. Now that we have this here, uh, Kerbal Alarm Clock will dewarp us conveniently. Let's kick it up even more. There we are. All right. Here's the alarm. We're almost to the sphere of influence change. We are going to warp at 50 times speed because that is a pretty safe dis distance or a safe amount to warp. There we are. We are now in or well we are now in the moon's sphere of influence. Ooh. We could do a temperature scan. We are not going to do it uh, just because we do lose about half the science here. So uh, we'll keep it just so it doesn't pop up again. Orbital telescope, we will do that. We got uh, another milestone. Uh, we initiated the first flyby of the moon, and we have escaped the gravitational influence of Kerbin. Lots of money for us. I like it. And we completed that contract to fly by the moon. Hooray. All right. Now, if we were to do nothing, we would just keep flying and then eventually go into this weird eccentric orbit right here. It's not what we want. We want to focus on the moon. And down here at our periapsis, we want to add a maneuver. And we want to capture ourselves in the moon's orbit so we will never leave it unless we do something but uh, we want to be in lunar orbit and to do that we need to break so retrograde equals breaking prograde equals stepping in the gas so let's pull this retrograde until we see we have an orbit there it is 338. We're going to bring this down to 250. That's actually pretty damn close, right? Kick it up a little more. 252. Two, well, I don't know, that's close enough. That's actually a pretty good inclination, too. Alright, so we're actually going to hit our node in 52 minutes. Let's tell MechJeb to lock us to that node. It's going to fling us around really quick now that we're such a small craft. Do, 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 do. Kerbin's still nice and floating away. There we go. We are locked to that maneuver. And we're going to tell Kerbal Alarm Clock to warp us. Oh, no, go away. To that maneuver. Look at that the moon ladies and gentlemen we are here 
very soon we will be here with a Kerbal, Valentina, or Jebediah. I'm not too sure. I might just flip a coin. There we go. So we're three minutes out. We are locked to the node. It's going to take 490 meters a second of Delta V. We have plenty in the tank. I'm not worried about that at all. fast forward a little bit. It's going to be 11 second burn, so we'll start it at about 5 seconds to the uh, marker. I'll probably speed it up a little more than that. There we are. And 5 seconds, we're going to burn. Now we're going to want to watch our numbers here. They're going to look really wacky for a minute. Let's cut it and go nice and slow. We are 30 meters a second left. Bring it down even more. Ah, oh, we overshot it. Oh well. All right, guys, we are in orbit of the moon. Fantabulous, right? We can actually go prograde and push this out. It's not super efficient, but it's not terrible where we are. So we're gonna push our periapsis. Everything got flipped now. We're gonna push our periapsis to 250 because that again is optimal for our scanner. Oh man, I overshot that again, son of a bitch. These tiny tweaks are just killer. Just wait till we start doing stuff like going towards uh, uh, Duna. The littlest thing you do there is just the, the massive effect. Actually, one thing we could do, we go back to the map, we could right click our engine and we can right click down this thrust limiter and we can bring down the thrust. We are and we are going to look at our periapsis here and let's go ahead and drop that there we go 249 I'm happy with that Corbel alarm clock please warp us to our uh, periapsis now there we are it's gonna bring us 30 seconds from our periapsis there we go And we want to be at our periapsis so we can retrograde burn at our to our apoapsis and effectively bring our apoapsis down. So we want to lock to retrograde. Uh, MechJeb is already doing that for us. Thank you, MechJeb. There it is. And we're going to do a little tiny burn here. There it is pretty good we have an inclination of 91 which 90 is what we were shooting for so that's pretty damn good it's better than what we have on Kerbin we did do another milestone we have entered orbit of the moon guys check this out where's Kerbin Kerbin where'd you go there it is Kerbin the moon Kerbin the moon all right that's enough of that zoom back in on our ship there we are check our electric charge we are golden we actually have a lot of fuel left in the tank too we probably could go to minus minimus with the same design let's start our radar scan there we go we can open up that contract and where are we do a low resolution scan of the moon they want 75 percent of the moon scanned let's go ahead and speed up time Speed up even more than that. So we've done 50%. Getting pretty close to being done. There it is. We've scanned 75% of the moon. Wonderful. There we are. We completed the contract for 82,000 Kerbal dollars. I love it. This was a very flawless, perfect mission. I liked it. Could have been a little more efficient, but we have plenty of gas left in the tank. Let's go ahead and close the contracts. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with this, guys. Hmm. Oh, you know what we could do? Bonus science. Right click, analyze our data, and send 31 science back to Kerbin. Transmit. Hopefully we have enough electric charge. Yeah, we should. 
Oh yeah, definitely. Bam. 31 science for nothing. This was a great mission, guys. Let's uh, go back to the space center here. We will check our, our map of the moon in our ScanSat mod. Big map. It is going to show us Kerbin. We're going to hit body here. And we can also go to the moon and see that. And that's our scan of the moon, guys. And my dog is barking outside my office door. All right, guys. I'm going to call it here. That was a great video. We're uh, 21 minutes in. Thank you for watching. This has been Let's Play Kerbal Space Program, Episode 6. And I will see you very soon for Episode 7. Take care, everybody.